Hi, welcome back. There's a silver lining in every cloud, and I have this cloud in that I broke my right hand, and it involved a, something with a, an accident with the sewing machine, helping somebody. But anyway, the silver lining is that for a couple of weeks I'll only be using one finger on the harp, either the thumb or the first finger. So, I'm going to do a tutorial with you that'll be really easy. It's called the Butterfly Improvisation. What you're going to do in this is to play only the white strings of the harp. So it's going to sound kind of oriental. And in the left hand, you'll do one five eighths. Or if you're less experienced and you can't do a one five eight, you can do fifths, but they're rocking. Some of you some of you also know that I had something happen to my hearing and it went precipitously down and it's starting to gradually come back up so I can hear the harp enough to teach a tutorial and I can really hear it if I put my skull against the top tuning peg. I hear it through bone conduction so sometimes you might see me doing that when I'm playing. I try to make it not too obvious, not like that. So the first thing to try before you start this is just the butterfly technique itself and that is to take two strings that are the same and do them alternating and kind of with a light touch. You could do thumbs So I'm going to have you try that, starting first really slowly, just on a white string, any string, and then making it softer and faster, and then if you can, even faster. We're going to use one five eighths in the left hand hand, and the four chords that of one five eighths that have only white strings are A G E D. So, like the word aged, you can also think of them as the four one five eight chords around the F, and I mean the the fourth finger is around the F. So you've got D E G A. So. You can play them in any order in this, in any part of the harp. So what you're going to do is to use the right hand angel finger or single finger, and you're going to intersperse it. So let's say I start this on an E, uh, one five eight, and I think I'll start the right hand on an E also, so I can get that first echo. So I'm going.
If you did it with fifths in the left hand, it would still be the A fifth, the G fifth, the E fifth, and the D fifth, aged. So. Now a couple of exercises to help you get this. You, you don't have to go in order A, G, E, D. However, it's best to start on an A and come home to an A. It just sounds like you're coming home. Or you can try others. E is also nice. The first exercise will be to do a 1-5-A, A in the left hand, and an A single note in the right hand. And the key is to not do these with a regular rhythm, like but to really um, to really bend the rhythm. So we're going to hesitate for a long time. So it's um, Your next exercise is to do your one five eights. You don't want to do them rhythmically like that, like one, two, three, four. You want to do a couple of different kinds. One is the pluck pause one five eight. So I'm on an A, one five eight. So it's pluck, pause, and then you're gonna roll the next two. So your exercise is gonna be doing that. A, G, and E, and D. If you're on a small part. Do those. The next one is the rolled one, five eight. So you can do an exercise with those. The next one is the umpa. So I'm going to do it on an E here. But it's basically just pluck and then play these blocks. Now with the right hand practice just doing white notes in any rhythm, sometimes pausing a lot. The easiest way to practice this is just to go down like a scale. So I'm going to start on a B, but go to an A and G, to an E. This is very relaxed. You're never doing something fast like that. So that's why you can just use one finger. I'm using my thumb. Be sure and give it lots of time and pause. And I like to end on an A.